to section 3.1 in the Cisco CCT data center series. In this video, we're going to talk about the Cisco Integrated Management Controller, the SIMC. All right, in this video, we're going to look at the purpose of the SIMC. We're going to look at how you can use either the SIMC or the UCS Manager for C Series servers. We're going to look at the SIMC networking options, and then we're going to look at the SIMC GUI management interface. All right, so SIMC basics. First off, SIMC stands for Cisco Integrated Management Controller. Uh, the SIMC's main job is going to be to manage the C-Series servers. So basically you've got a choice when you're going to deploy the C-Series server. You can deploy it either independently and manage it through the SIMC, or you can deploy it as a part of a UCS fabric and have it managed by the UCS manager. And if we remember from earlier lessons, the UCS manager is the uh, web admin for the entire UCS fabric that is embedded in the fabric interconnects. You can use the dedicated management IP, which is going to be the easiest option. Uh, you can use the LAN on motherboard, which is going to have two different NICs. So if you want to have redundancy, you can do it that way. Or you can use a VIC card. And, and again, the reason to use a VIC would be if you had a lot of virtual machines inside that server and every one of them needed their own NIC. All right, so here we are back on the review 3D models for the Cisco UCS C-Series. And I've got a C220M5 server pulled up here. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing this is because I just want to show you what exactly what these ports look like on the back. Now, the dedicated management port is going to be this one right here. If you can see my cursor, that's going to be the dedicated management port. Uh, this dual nicked thing right here, that is going to be the MLOM because it has the redundant ports. And then if you were going to have a VIC, you could put the VIC in that slot right there, and that's where the VIC would go. All right, and so lastly, what I pulled up here is the... Uh, the the SIMC or the Cisco UCS C Series SIMC configuration guide. Now this is just made. This was just updated in May 2020. Uh, the, the way that I got here was by Googling uh, Cisco UCS uh, SIMC GUI configuration guide. Now there's configuration guides for both the CLI and the GUI. Uh, this is the GUI one. Uh, and by using Google like that, you're always going to be able to make sure that you find the most recent guide. Um, I wish that I had a SIMC interface to take you guys through, but I don't. Uh, so the best that I can do is just point you in the direction of this configuration guide. Uh, if you look in the upper left, let me see if I can make it bigger. Um, yeah, so you've got like, installing the server, you know, and then managing the chassis. Um, it would also be nice if they if they did it pictures, you know, if they used pictures, so that way I could, uh, you know, show you guys, you know, exactly, uh, you know, how the user interface is. But they've, you know, they they have it all in text here. So this is going to be, you know, you'll be able to find whatever you need to. Um, in here, you come to these pages and search and, and find what you're looking for that way. Or you can search through the whole book in this, this search thing right here or, you know, control F uh, and to search per page. All right, so that wraps up this session. Uh, we covered the, the basics of a SIMC and the purpose of a SIMC. We looked at how there's a choice between the SIMC and uh, using the UCS manager to manage the C-series servers. We looked at the SIMC networking options and then a little bit on the configuration guides for the GUI management interface. If you found that helpful, consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.